Good evening. As she said, I'm Doris Cole from Martinsville, Virginia, and I thank the uh, Dominican and the Public Library of Virginia for honoring Dr. Baldwin, uh, my grandfather. I had a few notes, but they're floating around somewhere in the parking lot. <laughs> So I will speak very briefly on what my mind can make me remember. But Dr. Baldwin was born in Chatham, Virginia in 1881. And he came to Martinsville in 1910 after receiving a medical, medical degree in, at Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina. And in 1910, when he came to Martinsville, the population of Martinsville was 13,000. It's not very much more now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he received his medical practice, medical license in 1910 and came to Martinsville. He was the first black doctor to practice in Martinsville. Shortly after 1910, he left Martinsville and volunteered for the service for the Army and came back to Martinsville in the 1920s. And when he returned, as uh, you said, uh, he was denied practice at the white hospitals as well as most of the black community. So he decided that he would open his own hospital, which was a 22-room bed. <laughs> and uh, he named that hospital St. Mary's Hospital after his mother. <laughs> Telling my age, he delivered me in 1943. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a special bond there. But uh, Dr. Baldwin did open and uh, had a lot of things that the black community could be proud of. One of the things that he did, there's a area in Martinsville now it's called the Baldwin's Block. Even though there are not any of those enterprises that was mentioned about him, it's not there. There are many memorials for him on the Fed Street area, still the basic black area. And uh, a lot of people were able to go to places that they were denied to go in the uh, segregated area of Martinsville. Another thing that he did to bring the black community together I don't know if any of you all uh, remember the uh, June German Ball that was in Martinsville during the 30s. And every year from the 1930s to the 30, uh, until uh, 30 years, everybody would dress up. I wasn't allowed to go. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the, the older people dressed up in their finery and the, uh, the men dressed up in their finery, and in the Baldwin's Auditorium, he had, um, he had entertained the starting with like Cab Calloway of that area on up through um, whatever area, I can't think now, uh, what's that man? James Brown. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and, and, the, and the dancing was in the auditorium, as well in the streets. And that was one of the things that people remembered fr from him uh, starting. People from North Carolina, South Carolina, West Virginia, everybody just came and had a good time. So uh, Dr. Baldwin practiced up until 1970. He died in 1971, but there's still a lot of memorials to him uh, in Martinsville. And uh, we all think of him, and I particularly uh, thank that he delivered me. <laughs> thank you.